Hello guys, here is Tidy Spikes. Now, follow me to learn how to produce a complete carbon frame. Every carbon frame starts with a 2D drawing. First learning, the general shape of frame and some basic geometry data must be confirmed. Like what it is for, what kind of the frame it is. Okay, as shown in the video, is a new enduro suspension frame. Model number is FS835, but still haven't on sale yet. Well, if any guys have interest on it, contact us. This is a 2D drawing of it. Not like general hardtail mountain frame or road frame, which are relatively simple. Because performance of frame has been determined with designing 2D drawings. But suspension frame requires more professional analysis to determine the pedal's heat back or the chain pull is hard or not. Anti lifting, anti squatting, and some basic suspension performance can bridging. Okay, we can go on next step that making a 3D drawing after final geometric properties are determined. And here is a 3D drawing of suspension frame FSA35. The 3D drawing with the overall shape of the frame, the thickness of top tube, down tube, CC, and chain stay. After all above, it's necessary to extend to every details, such as bearing size of the pivot point, through exercise, and how big is the plastic plug hole. All of these are finally confirmed at this step including stacking distribution of carbon fiber materials, how much materials will be used in which parts. If some parts of the frame are too slender, but it's the point of force, adjustments will be made to ensure that there's no problem with the frame. Once the mode is open, it's difficult to make changes again. All mode will be done after confirming the 3D drawing. Now, here we go back to the factory. What you can see are some of the modes, the front and rail triangle modes of road and mountain bikes. Rail triangle modes are made of large pieces of aluminum, alloy, iron, and forged. Because it's large size and heavy weight for the mode processed by five axes CNC machine tool, like the one piece mode, it can only be moved by fork lift. Commonly used and some customized modes will be placed in the downstairs warehouse, and less frequently used modes will be stored on higher shelves. When the design part is completed and the mood is ready, then we can go start produce the frame. The most common used is carbon fiber pre prac So, what is carbon fiber pre prac It's compensating epoxy resin or carbon fiber by high pressure technology. Carbon fiber filament, epoxy resin, Vietnamese paper, and other materials has been coated, hot pressed, cooled, coated again, raw materials, and other processing techniques. Finally, processed material is pre prac Now, what we can see is a 3K wave, which is woven and crossed together in different ways. In addition, this is UD wave. Each carbon filament goes in one direction, so there's no plaid pattern, which will be bad one way mechanical properties. It's different from 3K wave and has better tensile properties. Now, what we can see is a press feed machine. Multiple shades of carbon clothes are stacked in the specific direction and then compressed together. Stacked carbon clothes need to be cut into specified size. This cutting machine is used to carry out manual cutting. Because the lengths, widths, and height of each piece of carbon clothes are very strict, so, it must be positioned by a machine to ensure that each piece of carbon cloth is consistent in length, width, 
and hate. However, since the frame is composed of thousands of pieces of carbon cloth, there are some irregular ones that can only be cut into a specified shape with the help of numerical control equipment. Each frame composed of hundreds of carbon fiber cloths. There are many types of carbon cloth. The cut materials should be classified, labeled, and placed in a pile, and then sorted and prepared for preforming. This is the preparation of a frame, and as you can see, there are so many types. This carbon cloth in my hand is UD weave. Each carbon filament goes in one direction. And this one is 3K weave. Every worker who enters into the preforming room must be dusted to prevent dust in the air from polluting the carbon cloth and structure and keep it clean. For example, this corner is preforming a front fork. Firstly, we need to paste the shape of the fork legs one by one, according to the requirements and directions to make a roof shape. Say my name. Heisenberg. These are parts of the virus products that are already preformed. Small accessories are relatively simple and can be integrated in one piece form. The whole product can be preformed as a whole. And here is a preformed one from front fork steer to legs. After the preforming completed, it will be sent to the mood for forming. And here is a front triangle of road frame. Finally, the front and the triangles are combined by gluing and spicing to form a complete frame. Because the video is a little longer, we will make it in short. This road frame is formed by a split molding. Firstly, the front and rear triangles are formed separately. 
Then we will put the release agent on the mold, and the carbon cloth must be prevented from being clamped by the mold to appear folded yarn appearance. And the prevented mold press the trickier, which will cause poor inflation. If the inflation is poor, the carbon cloth inside won't be tight enough. And determination will happen, affecting the strength of frame. After everything is ready, we can push the frame into the stove. Then, front triangle of the frame is formed after several steps like hydraulic pressure, heating, and air inflation. This is a new formed for suspension frame. As we can see, each frame has a serious number. Some of the resin in the pre prag will overflow, which is a normal phenomenon and uh, will be processed later. Better call Saul. This is the road from front triangle that has just been formed. After a simple procession, there's no excess resin. You can see clearly the visible UD wheel. These cases are road frames that are ready to be glued after its appearance is processed. Now, the front triangle and rear triangle are separated. When everything is ready, they can be glued. Because the APS and one-piece frame has not been arranged production recently, so we still have no photograph at this time which will be added in next video. Now, we come here. The engineer is gluing a road bike, which is formed just now. And you can see that the engineer is positioning every part of the frame precisely. Maybe you will see why it looks so low and old. Actually, it's the best positioning pedestal because we will make such a CNC pedestal for each frame. This CNC positioning pedestal is specially customized for this frame, which is very accurate. Different from the simple batch positioning platform in the picture, due to its small size, more frames can be placed in the same oven to achieve high output. Because the fixing method is not stable enough, and it's not dedicated to individual models, so the accuracy is limited. It will lead to other problems, such as the asymmetry of the wheel base, the inaccuracy of the front and rear center lines of the frame, and other problems. So, we would rather choose a higher standard platform. After the glue resin is completely dry, we will glue the last set of frame and the two sets one time. The speed is relatively slow, but the accuracy is high. Of course, the cost will be higher too. After the frame is glued, we can go on the next process. Now, next step is the most important part of each product, ISO 4210 testing. You may ask, what is ISO 4210? 
It is officially released by the European Committee for Standardization in 2014. A basic safety requirement that was implemented in 2015 was used to ban the previous EN14781, EN14766, EN14764 and other standards. Now, they are upgraded to ISO 4210. In fact, ISO 4210 is just a foundation. For some specific frames, we will add 20% to 30% strength requirements on this basis to cope with different models in different environments and also have a better guarantee for the safety of frames. For example, some suspension by riders like flying back, dry falling. Then, our requirements of the hair tube will be 30% higher than the requirements of ISO 4210, which can ensure that riders won't suffer from the insufficient strength and need to safety threats to life in riding. Here are some test videos. Please pay attention to adjust your volume because the test environment is noisy. When a frame is developed, formed, and tested for strength, 
It can be mass produced. The next step is painting after massive production is completed. There is refining, processing, and polishing the surface or frame before painting. Now, what you can see is our refinement workshop. In the video, our engineer is sending an integrated hand bar. In order to remove the release agent from the surface, there is a process called sanding blasting before painting work. After sending out the renewed agent, it needs to be re-leveled with sandpaper manually because it's not so absolutely flat. After the master finished sanding with coarser sandpaper, he will hand it over to another master with finer sandpaper. After two times of sanding, the handbar will become very smooth which can absorb the paint well and make the paint last longer and better durability. Here is sanded suspension free front triangle. It's different from the frame it had just been mood released. It looks a little grey. This is raw material frame ready to be painted at any time. And here we come to a place dedicated to paint glossy. It's a dust free workshop. Next to here, where some painted forks and frames are placed inside. Okay, next, let's introduce the painting on frame. It's not painted step by step by our master. It's the watermark is shown in the video. It's a neat similar to a sticker, but it has no adhesive in the back side. There are two layers of sealing film after it's printed. The middle layer is the watermark we use. It will become soft by soaking in water and has a certain elasticity. It can be adhered to the frame and can be attached to the frame through a certain stretching and positioning. After a certain amount of time in the oven, it will be fully solidified. Now, what we see is Keith's bike frame. It's an OEM painting frame. The worker is using a spade gun to paint the frame into glossy. The carbon fiber painting all are finished in low temperature environment. Here is one of the small ovens. What in oven now is aluminum alloy frame, which also uses no temperature painting, but the efficiency is not so high. Generally, aluminum alloy frame will be in high temperature painting, and painting will dry faster. But carbon fiber products cannot. There's a big difference between them. We don't produce aluminum alloy products. But we have a painting department. Here what we see is a manual quality control room. After each product be painted, there will be many quality inspections to check if there is oil flow or pink holes, the painting is perfect or not, and other details. After confirming that there is no problem, it will be sent to packing department for final inspection. If the installation is smooth and if the screw hole is clean and so on. And then a good frame will be shipped to the customer from all over the world. Finally, thank you for watching the video. See you next time.